once again there, partners. I reckon y'all stumbled across Mind's Gaming. This here is gonna be playthrough number 11. Just chilling up here. Just got done dealing with the trapper a little bit ago. That's what we left off in our last playthrough. Just taking in the beauty of this game there, partners. Overlooking Bards Crossing over there. The cliffs, beautiful river, flat iron lake backdrop. I reckon I ain't seen a beautiful sight, more beautiful sight in all my life. <laughs> Welcome back, everybody. I know my cowboy voice is horrible. You don't have to tell me. But it's supposed to be funny, so... Hopefully you get at least, if nothing else, guys, if nothing else, you get at least a little bit of laugh out of my horribly awful attempts to try to sound like a, a cowboy or a southerner or whatever the hell I'm doing. I don't know. It's freaking Red Dead Redemption 2. I'm Arthur Morgan, easily one of the greatest protagonists of all time. Definitely the greatest in Rockstar history. And yeah, what a beautiful creation they've created here. Uh, it has its flaws, it has its bugs, and stuff like that. But I tell you what, it's, uh, I just can't imagine, guys. I mean, after seeing the GTA 6 trailer, can you imagine, I mean, GTA 6 is going to be awesome, but can you imagine what RDR 3 is going to look like? As beautiful as this game is here, it's just mind-boggling how far we've come, right? Uh... I grew up playing Sega Genesis and Super Nintendo. If that tells you anything, we've, we've come a long way, but... Alright, man. Enough of that stuff. Uh, welcome back, guys. Let's get right into it. I think we are going to Herbless number 7 done here. And I'll probably, after that, we'll probably head up to... Oh, yeah, my hat. I don't worry about that. Probably head up to... Uh... This is the last, Arcadia for Amateurs 5, this is the last time we see Mr. Mason here, I'm pretty sure, so we'll head up there. Plenty of opportunity to kill a deer between here and there, and then do that, probably. No big deal, it seems like we're already damn near in Valentine, we'll probably do Horseman 3 after that, ride from Valentine back down to Rhodes, which is, you know, you can do that in five minutes, no problem. Uh, and it seems like we'll be on Rhodes, we'll probably, uh, I'm surprised, stop off at Braithwaite, the manor there, because as you guys see in the last episode, we uh, we ended chapter three. Uh, you can loot Catherine Braithwaite. We'll loot her. There's actually a gold bar right there too, so I can get that. That's another 500 bucks. Uh, and then yeah, mosey our way on over here and probably do this mission for Mary Beth and Strauss and you know whatever else, right? So that's that's kind of my half-assed plan. All right, as it is, yep. Let's get back to uh, drinking these damn special, wasting these freaking special miracle tonics, but. It's what's needed for the game here. There's one of five. Guys, it's painful to have to waste these. It really is because it takes so freaking long to get them. Uh, use them in online quite a bit, but they're really just not necessary in story mode, so I can part with them, right? We can probably, we can always make them more if we need to. It's, it's a pain in the butt, but. There we go. Herbalist 7 has been completed. And we are golden the F out. Use Oleander to craft six poison weapons. Oh, that's no big deal. Okay, so we'll get that done. The Oleander's uh, down in. Uh, that spawns pretty readily down over here uh, in the swamp area. So we'll find out exactly where we can find that at. We can knock out the uh, weapons expert. No big deal there. I mean, you don't have to get the carcass and all that, but it's just a lot easier to, you know what I mean? It's just easier, guys. If you can make your life easy, why not, right? Why the frick not? Damn ducks, I should be shooting them, but. As a matter of fact, hold on. There, okay. No, I didn't tell you to put your gun away, Arthur. I'm not sure what the F you're doing, but okay. 
Hey guys, Arthur. He's such a great freaking uh, protagonist or whatever. Uh, he literally has a mind of his own. Even though we're supposed to be controlling him. He literally has a mind of his own. That's how awesome Arthur really is. He is alive. It's kind of scary and awesome all at the same time, right? You're a good boy. Yeah. Crazy. What we got here? Oh look, it's a freaking deer. Just what I need. Let's go. We'll wait till we get over there to skin him. Better to do it off in the heartlands. We got 100 billion kajillion birds flying around. Not that there aren't birds over here too, but appreciate you doing that. Right, you know, on my boots there, horse. Appreciate the poop on the boots. Good stuff. Good stuff with the poop on the boots. Good stuff. <laughs> it's just criminy. All right, man. Let's uh, let's get it going here. Another day in Red Dead. B E A beautiful. Here, this is kind of saying my goodbye. I don't think I have to really do anything crazy for him here. Just save him from falling off a damn cliff. So, yeah, we might as well get Mr. Uh, Mr. Mason done right now, and then we'll uh, we'll do the weapons expert or whatever it is next. Ah, yes, yes, Mr. Mason. Oh, oh, it's Mr. Morgan. You want to be careful up here. Land is real treacherous. Sure. Real treacherous. I've been here before. Have you? Yes. Funny how things turn out. Never quite how you expect, is it? No, I don't suppose it is. You know, the images, they really are beautiful. All thanks to you. I'd be some poor creature's bad meal by now, many times over, but for you. Oh, that's my pleasure. P please, you step away from the cliff edge. I'm trying to get an eagle there, there. Yeah, they're beautiful. But unlike you, they can fly. <laughs> Too true. You really must think I'm a buffoon, don't you? You think I'm such a dimwit, I'd just slip off the edge of a cliff? No, but, well, maybe. Yeah, you, you, please, sir. you end I'm up dense, doing just that. But not that dense. This area is quite safe. Quite. Quite. Oh, oh! Ah! Damn! <sighs> you were right. I am that much of a buffoon. Give me a hand, please. Yeah, you really me are, bro. Me. Come here. Oh. I'll just let you freaking fall on your freaking noggin. Oh, 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 thank you. You know what? Bugger the eagles, I'm going home. You know, I really did get some, some amazing pictures, thanks to you. And somehow, I haven't quite broken my neck. You take care. And you too, sir. Sorry for all the trouble. Oh. Yeah, man. And that is a certain death, for sure. Yeah, this wasn't the this wasn't the gang's hideout here. It was over. Over yonder, yeah, right here's where it was. Right there. Alright, let's, uh, actually, hold on. Let's go out into an open area where there'd be some birds. I actually need to find that first dinosaur bone, too, so I can get that course jump. We need to do, uh, at least one or two more talismans. Yeah. You know. Do that. I, I get those cigarettes, too. Buy a bunch, buy a hundred bucks worth of cigarettes or whatever, and now, come on. Yeah. 
So all you need is one pack, and you can send him to that cigarette smoking dude, and then you know, he'll get you the Civil War handcuffs, I think, is what he gives you. That's what you need for one of the talismans, so. Definitely, uh. Gonna need to do that. Maybe while I'm up in Valentine, I'll buy the cigarettes. Might as well, right? Alright, so here's a pretty flat open area here. There's a freaking uh, bird of priority right there. What is that? Chinese ring. Oh, it's a pheasant. I'll get you later. Alright, so if you guys don't know, a real easy way to do this. I'll get this off you, boy. Take ye old day deer. Throw him on the ground here. Skin him. Easy, boy. I think it'll attract the birds done. either way, but I feel like he's gonna rot faster with the skin off of him. kind of ride over yonder okay then. away for a little bit equip the tomahawks there we go and we'll just wait all right so you see there's one right there he's got to creep up on him Keep up on him. There's one. with other ravens coming in or not not sure but we're not gonna chance it oh look there's another one already look at this Two coming in easier than what I thought. Come on, come on, Arthur! Arthur, put the mother effing gun away, dude! Holy crap! All right, let's get this uh, raven out of here. Drop him. Hopefully we get number three in here real quick, right? First two came in real quick. All right, guys. Well, we finally got it. First two came pretty quickly and easily. Uh, this last one, not so much. <laughs> Brah. I literally been waiting here for probably like 25 minutes and it's, it's been excruciating but anyway we got it freaking done let's let's have some meat I think we've earned it I lost my other three time ox but whatever we can go to the fence and get those back no big deal uh, let's see so what's next for the weapons expert let me see here Easy now. it popped up on there but I didn't freaking see it here horse looks like he's some hay have have some freaking hay let's freaking hightail it yeah. okay there boy Off we go. I don't know what this one cent bounty bullshit is, but okay. Whatever. Wait a 
Jesus. You're somewhere you shouldn't be. <laughs> Soft city folk. Hold on a minute. Wasn't the weapon expert have something to do with? Hold on. Yeah, because that's what we're going up there for is the uh, continuities with a shotgun using crafty ammo. Well, uh, I think we might have uh, been presented an opportunity here, guys, to uh, potentially get maybe not all ten, but a couple of those. So let's uh, let's craft the because uh, these are super easy to craft. All you need is freaking moonshine and send near a buckshot. I don't believe you just stumbled across my camp like that. And uh, make sure incendiary is yeah, that's equipped. Yep. How we doing, gentlemen? Whoa! No need to point that gun in my direction. <laughs> Well, there's two of them. Burn, you sons of bitches. Burn. That's what you can do. <laughs> oh, gosh. There went a little bit of honor. It will be alright, right, guys? We'll freaking be alright. Oh, that's that barn we all hit in, yeah, for that one mission. Freaking uncle. Frickin' uncle. What is that? Oh, comp. Comps instead? Whatever the hell? I don't freaking know. Alright, so let's. Wait a minute. Where am I going here? Uh, I'm supposed to be heading up to Valentine. Where the hell am I going? Where's this got me going? It's got me going frickin' over the hills and far away, or we're supposed to be going. I'm. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I'm. Evidently, I'm directionally challenged. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. Okay, so let's go this way. Let's not touch the left joystick so we don't ram our horse right into a freaking tree here. So cool, man. You can probably just do it random. So all I gotta do is, like, if I run across uh, somebody like these guys are here, I gotta just point a gun at them and it'll make them be. It'll turn them into an enemy real quick. Uh, you know what I mean? See? He's a red dot. That's a, that's an enemy. It's gonna bring your honor down, obviously, a little bit, but uh, it should be three enemies now. Let's, let's check real quick, just to be sure. Weapons expert. Yeah, see, three. All you gotta do is point your gun, and that makes them an enemy. Don't shoot right away. Wait for them to turn red, and that's an enemy. So I might not even have to go. <laughs> I might get it done. Uh. In Valentine, before I freaking even get to uh, old old Driscoll's cabin up there, let's take uh, yeah, this, those incendiary buckshot are nothing nice. That's for sure. <laughs> Poor Horace. Sorry, Horace. I didn't mean to drag you into this too, but oh, got a witness. Oh, hold on. Oh, here's number four right here, potentially. Come here, asshole. It's all a big misunderstanding. Don't get confused about that. Quit this, you goddamn fool. You gonna keep your mouth shut. Okay, you better have heard me. Oh, okay. Just turn him into not an enemy. Yeah. All right. See if we can get him off of the pathway here. I still might get it for the horse if I'm in the area, but not as likely as the dead body. I don't know how they can detect, like, you're like a thousand yards away and it's automatically they know it's you. Like, how do you, how do you figure that one? <laughs> you know what I mean? That doesn't make any sense, so... Uh, okay, as it is, we are yeah, right going to head up there. We got three anyway. And I know there's at least seven or eight O'Driscolls in that six-point cabin area there. Which we'll actually be using that same location for a later uh, weapons expert there. I think it's like weapons expert number eight or nine or something like that. I don't know, we'll figure that out when we get there. Alright, Horace, you stay here. Things about to get ugly. Oh, old 
Driscoll's. Where you at, boys? This might sting a little bit. Hope y'all don't mind. Where is he? Oh, right there. Son of a bitch is gonna get it. Hello, old Driscoll's. How y'all doing today? Oof! Have a seat, bud. Oh yeah, there's definitely plenty. Plenty of Driscoll's here for this. Woo! Oh, you're trying to tackle me, huh? Uh, that's gonna get you a shotgun right to the face, homeboy. Goodbye. Should be too many, too many more of them. There it is, right there. All right, well, let's let's quit wasting that ammo. That cool. So there's weapons expert uh, number four done. Get down, Arthur. Damn it. Get down, boy. Potent health care this case. That damn old Driscolls. Right in the schnoz. Let's just shoot him an unnecessarily large amount of times. <laughs> it's got fire everywhere. It's fire and brimstone, guys. It's chaos. Let's flip and go. I lost my hat. I got plenty of stuff. Do I really need to loot all these guys? Not really. Not really. I, let me see. Yeah, uh, you just got shellacked. I'll just loot him, I guess. Whatever. What the hell ever. Damn old Driscolls. Still got the freaking drawers open from, uh, from last time I was here. I don't care. Like f five playthroughs ago. Alright. Let's go. Horsey's out here. Let's go. Let's re equip the outfit there. Easy. I said re equip the outfit. Thank you. Easy. Bruh. Thank you. Yep. Jesus criminy, dude. Alright, man. So let's head down to. No, I don't want progress. No. Uh, let's head down to Valentine here. Alright, go to stables or whatever. Get the. Reserve Fox Trawler. Good stuff. Actually, what is it? Oh, oh, hey, friend. Remember me? Oh, here we go with the snake bite guy. I won't bite. I want to talk to you. Hey. Hey, Wallace. This here is the kind soul I was telling you about. <laughs> the one that gave you the medicine when the snake got you. Uh, mm -hmm. Guess so. Listen, friend. I know I can never repay you, but... How about you head over to the gunsmith and pick out your choice of item on my tab? Oh, well, thanks. Yeah, seemed like the least I could do with him being sent straight from the Almighty to save my life. Yeah, hey, that's twice now. For you? Always a doubt. Told me I could grab oh, man, something on his tire. Not the next one. one with the bite in his leg. Ah, oh, Norbert, huh? Well, he's good for it. About all he's good for between the two of us. Well, take a look around. Find something you like, I'll put it on his tab. Well, let's see if we can get a free gun. Might as well get a free gun, right? Definitely not one of those. Not real big on the. All the semi-autos are unlocked now. Oh, let's go. Okay, so there is a beginning chapter four. All right. I don't want, no, I don't really like the Mausers, honestly. I really don't. That's awesome, though. It's cool how if you do little things like that, you know what I mean? Like, it just, it, it definitely rewards you, right? Uh, for being, you know, for being a good, uh, a good cowboy in this game here. Okay, so yeah, man, let's let's get our freaking semis going while we're here. Let's go. 
They ain't gotta freaking tell me twice. Fine choice. I'll let them know. Trade in Duke now here. Thanks, sir. I let the clerk know. Thanks again. Sure. Boy. All right. Yeah, uh, you know you live my pirate house. Yeah, shut up. I'm not dealing with the idiot brothers over there. I can give a rip's ass less about them too. You ain't feeding this horse right. If you want me to keep that overnight, there's room in the stable. Yeah, I'm feeding horses fine. Shut up. Let's flip and go. All right, Ghost Rider. Good to have you back, baby. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's kind of getting dark out. All right. You done good, girl. Yeah, you'll you'll never need to worry about stamina with this this setup here. I don't know why I bought all those potent horse stamens, but I did. So, okay. I said I usually like to start right here. It's fine. Either one. As long as you are in within the parameters here, right? You could technically start like way out here. Because this is technically Valentine's, how the game sees it, right? So, okay. Yeah, we're just going to ride all the way down to Rhodes. All we got to do is get to right here. And like I said, I'm just going to uh, bust a right and get right on the damn railroad tracks. Might as well, right? Cause that's that's going to be your easiest way. You're not going to run into anything. If it's a train, you can get off the road real quick. But yeah, man. So and we'll just make sure we bust a left here. Then stay on this one here to the left. So it's left, left all the way. You really can't go wrong with the railroad tracks, guys. You really, really can't. You know what I mean? So here we go. Well, we'll avoid those ones right there just because we don't want to fall, but uh, yeah, right about here, you're good to go, man. Get on the railroad tracks and just ride, or you can ride right next to whatever you want to do. Uh, this is this is easy money right here, guys. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah, right here, we'll bust off. And we are now in rows, just like that. Boom. Just like that. Let's go. Good stuff. Real good. This horse deserves... He deserves some freaking hay. Let's go. Uh, I said let's go. <laughs> Drag a victim for 3,000 feet. That one's, I mean, so easy. It's not even funny. If you want to avoid losing honor, just, you know, make sure they're an enemy first and then just drag them. It, I guess, it doesn't matter if they're dead or alive, just drag them. And you got that, right? Uh, but we don't necessarily need to get to that right now. So, alright, we're in roads. Everything is going along wonderfully. Uh, I got this stranger here. You gotta go up and get stuff from his house, which is like way to F up wherever they is right here actually deal with all that i don't know if i really want to do that right now yeah uh, these are the uh two guys the prisoners there you gotta take down the wanted posters and all that not really worried about that right now we can get into that later all right so in the interest of keeping the herbalist going we are going to go try to find uh we need six oleander sage is what we need and i don't believe I believe that they are somewhere in this area, roundabout, somewhere around in there, right, so, let's ride back through roads where we just Your garments might bring bring you. Good girl. had a hell of a shootout. Excuse me. You know what? We might, we might do the freaking lasso, drag somebody for three thousand feet right now, homie. I mean, let's go. Let's 
make sure he doesn't fall off. Alright. He's an enemy too, so we won't lose. Oh no, damn it, that's gonna take him off. No, 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 no. Oh crap. Yeah, the damn fence got us. Son of a bitch. I was probably gonna have to start over. Whatever. I don't know how you're still shooting at me when you're being drugged by my horse, but okay. That's interesting. <laughs> yeah, let's we'll just keep dragging him, blah, 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 blah. We'll knock out horseman number four or five, whatever it is here, real quick. He's dead, but that don't matter. He's dead, but that doesn't matter. We'll just keep dragging him until we get that 3,000 feet. May or may not get a wand level from this. Thankfully, it's it's darker, right? So there's not as many cops and things on the road or riders on the road. All right, let's just take him up this way. Shouldn't be too much fire there. Hopefully, we've already dr drug him quite a ways. why as you drag the victim for so far away <laughs> clearly they're gonna die way before you get to that number well, we're still dragging here there we go Good stuff. There's an easy horseman four right there. Wasn't even planning on that, but hey, sometimes things work out, right? Triple five animals while on horseback. Yeah, we'll get into that later. You just run over rabbits or squirrels or ducks or whatever. No big deal, so. Alright, onward we march here. I don't know why this is a step of one cent bounty. What the hell is that? That's really weird, but. Alright, so let's change to our hot weather outfit because we're going to definitely be getting warm here if we don't. Uh, no. Is it one? There it is. Okay. Alright, so now we got to be on the hunt for some oleander sage. Which I know grows down here. Yeah, so I think we found ourselves some oleander sage right here. That's what it looks like. Kind of a... Let's see, let me see how many, how many leaves does that have. It's kind of a skinny plant, mid height. One, two, three, four, is it five, six, seven leaves? It's hard to say. But anyway, that's what it looks like. We're right here on the map here. Not, I said, new in the swamp kind of grows well I'm by a bridge right here but looks like it likes to be not too far from the swamp so needless to say let's pick some of that another oleander sage yeah definitely a poisonous plant make another one right here there we go okay well there's three so we could potentially ride out of the area and come back, and that'll be our six. Because, it's a, like I said, it's not a real super common plant. So, this is this milkweed over here, so. Hey there, girl. Hey. Yeah, I know a horse. Oh, wait a minute. What are those over there? Hold on a minute. Keep the horse here. Oh, that looks like more oleander right there. Well, would you look at that? Oh, cool. All right. Make sure you know other gators around here. You know, there's one right here. We're definitely going to have to shoot him. Otherwise, he's going to snatch our ass if... Uh, 
get next to him and you too just because any other ones around here? Okay, you just sneak up on you, man. You ain't, they don't move much. You ain't paying attention, but they'll get you. But anyway, all right, cool. So that's awesome that another one spawned right here. We never, well, two, looks like three. So cool, we got our six right here. This is going to be a pretty easy, uh, Pretty easy challenge here. Oh, got a perfect gator too. Huh? Let's get that too. Might as well while we're at it, right? Back up on our horse. We got our oleander. We're good to go. So we can just go ahead and just kneel down right here. No, Arthur. Kneel down. Craft. There we go. Nice. All right, let's leave. Stand up. All right. Pick one of each species of herb. Oh boy. Oh. Well, we have to come back, and I don't know where else Oleander spawns, so we're gonna have to ride away and yep. come back. I guess start with Oleander. That's definitely one of the uh, 43 species here. So we're going to have to come at this one in pieces, guys. We're going to have to come at this one in pieces. I'm not going to sit here and record every single second of this. We will, uh... Easy, easy. We'll just showcase each herb where it's at and, and just go from there, right? This is going to be a long one. Alright. Alright, so we're at the first location of sorts here. Okay. Uh, along the Dakota River ish area here so uh, the main ones you're gonna find around here definitely are uh, burdock root wild mint um, you can find creeping thyme around here too oregano and what I'm just gonna do guys I'm just gonna mark them off as I go, I believe there's, a, there's even raspberry and maybe even a blackberry bush around here too. Um, so let's get to investigating here. Easy now. Oh, babelet. Oh. Oh, cool. That's a mushroom. I didn't realize that was around here. All right. Excellent. All right, so what else we have around here? We have uh, looks like some Indian tobacco. Cool, we'll take that. So there's actually there's a bunch along the river here, guys. So we got that. Uh, let's see. I, mean, I know there's plenty of wild mint and burdock root around here for sure. Here's some yarrow. There we go. Well, there's our wild mint. I'm say this this grows in spades over here. Yeah, there's burdock root. Let's grab that. Uh, should be some common bulrush right here for the horse. Yeah. Looks like oregano right there. Yep, there's oregano. This is a wild carrot, I believe, too. These, these grow over here, too. There's a lot that grows here by Dakota River. This is this is like a hotbed of uh, 
shrubs and things like that. Like I said, I know there's raspberries over here, thyme. Oh, here's the, I, think, I believe, raspberry or blackberry one or two. I was getting mixed up. There's raspberry. Cool. What is this? Oh, there's my ginseng. Yep. There's our ginseng. We can cross that off the list. Oh. We got some, uh, dream catchers. Definitely need these for... Two of twenty found, nice. Can't remember what we get for those. Well, that's cool. Yeah, there we go. Parasol mushroom, let's cross that off the list. Not too far from the the pig pens here at Flatneck Station, so but you can say you can find this pretty much everywhere. It's just kinda on the on the flatlands, you know, it's saved your life, bud, because you were about to get kicked and get your back broke. There you go. Come on now. Come on, horse. Let's go. Come on, horsey. Yep. Yeah, you just get your life saved over here, homie. He's about to get Kicked right in the back. Oh, you kind man. Oh, this is really nice of you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Please, accept my thanks as reward. I won't forget this. Sure, mister. Not a problem, bud. Found me a new hat there, cowboy. Cowboys, uh, old rancher over here thought he was gonna get smart with it, you boy. Mr. Morgan here, and uh, yeah, we had to lay him down. But this, as it is, we finally found our blackberry, which to me this looks a hell of a lot like a raspberry. I know it's a little different, but I get this one in raspberry confused all the time. What is this it right here? Oh, there it is, guys! I found it. Yeah, this is a really tough one to find. Really rare, a lot rarer than the regular ginseng, even. Okay, so that's right here on the cliff. Yeah, well, let's put that. It's right. Kind of right between the K and the Y in the sky. Here's where the blackberry was, and that's right there. So, okay, good to know. Good to know that, like the other like Jim said, said, I'm not sure. I'm, I'm not super familiar with Ram's head in this game, but it's a mushroom. Ramsey, okay, there it is. All right, cool. Oh, all right, there's the hummingbird sage right there. Yeah, it's that. This it looks like one big uh, cola, I guess. That's kind of what it reminds me of. Uh, it's just one big fat flower with some white leaves at the bottom there. But we needed it, so let's grab that. Come back up here to paint the sky for one. I forgot the damn buy the snowdrop. This is also not a real super common one. Yeah, uh, go kill some night folk, I guess, real quick. Oh, show me where this place is. We'll see. All right. Let's go. Give me some night folk on the way to go getting there. these herbs. You good man, partner. <laughs> Can't get back in my horse. Oh, okay. Interesting. All right, well, let's, uh, first of all, I want my shotgun over here. Well, Lancaster repeater is probably going to be the best thing. You know, we're going we're gonna to light some of those bastards on fire, I think. That's what we're going to do. Them night folk would put me on a pipe. They got their paws on me. Hang me up on a hardwood hammock. Boy, I'm lucky I ain't dead as it is. Night folk. Oh, they bad people. Bad folk. Animals. A lot of them. You know, I ain't never heard no night folk speak. There's not been one peep out of no night folk. Not that I ain't heard it, at least. Imagine. 
not uttering a sound. Can you fathom that? Mm -hmm. What kind of evil don't make no sound? It's bad, all right. Bad. I mean, I don't meet many folk out here on my own, the most part, but I still speak, you know? Well, I talk to myself, ain't no one else around. Chew my own goddamn ear off. I can imagine. Now, used to be the gators was the worst thing in the bayou. Gators and snakes. I've been snake bit more times I like to remember. Ain't been gator bit, though. Got that to be thankful for, at least. Gator bites is nasty. Mm-hmm. Then turtle bites is bad, too. They call them snapping for a reason. Yeah, well, I've been known to snap, too. So, how about we keep it down? Oh, y yes, partner. Yep. Uh-huh. That's probably best. Yeah, it's probably best, dude. I know we're sneaking up on a bunch of freaking weirdos. Hey. Bunch of bats. Damn bats. Don't you worry about no bats. I'll tell you when you got to worry, all right. Uh-huh. Freaking night folk, man. Creep me out, dude. Bunch of flipping weirdos. Oh, yeah. I got one person right there. Another one over there. Oh, yeah. Here we go. All oh, hail. Look at that. You just now seeing that, bud? You see what I mean? This night folk work. Uh, well, having that damn lantern's not really. I uh, know this fella. Probably just a great idea. Good fella. Didn't deserve this. Uh huh. More damn bats. Slow down. Hey, hey. Poor feller on the tree been here for years. You think it's bad being a dead feller on a tree? It's worse when you're a live one with a stick through you. Okay. Lamps out. They might not speak, but they sure can see. I bet they can. Now, look out here, there's gators. What a place to make your home. It's nice, ain't it? Not particularly, bud. Not particularly. Get right there. And I take a walk. Get to running, bud. There we go. Up there. Night folk up to all sorts. You go. I'll be here with my rat gun. Okay, do what you can. Oh, they got someone. Mm, poor fella. Oh, too late for him. That's bad. Juju, all right. She gonna do that little ass cattle member. What up, though, Night Folk? How y'all feeling tonight? Hey. Clear off of there. Shit. They're coming. What the hell? Oh, you got him. You got him, all right. The place uh, is ours. I don't know about 
about that? Well, that homie, I'm sure, I'm sure it'd probably be more of them. Hold on, just in case we have some close quarter combat. Gotta be more of them. Yeah. I'll see. I don't like Arthur, what in the F are you doing, bud? Oh no. More. Go! Woo boy, let's go! Come on, boys! It's a bad evil! So ass is in here, boy. Catch some fire in the dick. <laughs> I love these motherfucking city area rounds, boy. I tell you, sexy shit. Okay, they're dead. Well, well. Okay, I got something for you now. I'll take your salt and beef for you, or maybe Any not. Moment? What do you got there, bud? Here you go, partner. What is this? Swamp trash? No, that's some of the good stuff right there. You good man, mister. Damn decent. You sure you're gonna be okay? I'll be fine. I have no I idea what the hell you just gave me. They dumb, but they ain't stupid. Well... So long now. Gold tooth, perfect muskrat power. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and get my hat. Arthur, you can stand up now, bud. Hope you don't mind if I take some of your coffee here, bud. Canned fruit and your salted beef. What else you got in here, bud? <laughs> I'll take some of that Kentucky bourbon. You got me out of risking my ass, messing with the damn night folk. What else we got here? Sort of biscuits, crackers, good stuff. We're just gonna clean this guy out. <laughs> ah, damn night folk anyway. I'm gonna put them on a repeater in case I run any freaking alligators. Come on, horse. We're level four bonding. Let's go here. Oh, I don't know what we got here. This is a uh, evergreen huckleberry. Well, let's cross that off the list. There we go. While we're here, right? But there was uh, milkweed right here, and then it's actually another Orlando stage spot right here. All right, guys, I completely freaking forgot to record. Okay. <laughs> I'm sitting there, like talking to myself for like, the last five minutes, like an idiot. Okay, so in this area here, and I can't really showcase them now because I already freaking picked them. Like a dumbass. Uh, I got some milkweed in this. Yeah, don't mind this idiot over here. He's. It's a guy who like invites you in his house for food, all creepy as shit. I pulled a shotgun on him because I thought he was buried. I came. I couldn't remember if he like drugged me or what the hell he did. Freaking weirdo. So now he's locked up in his house, just repeating the same five phrases over and over again. Anyway, in this area here, basically, it's pretty much all right here in this area right here. And you just got to, you know, use your eagle eye, right? No big deal. But this is where you find the, uh, the cigar orchid, a rat tail orchid, queen's orchid, vanilla flower, which that one's pretty, I was familiar with that one. It's got the vines and stuff on it. But they all grow on the side of the tree. And then you got the Acuna's. 
Acuna's star orchid, I believe. But yeah, anyway, they're all, all four or five are like right here in this area here. So he's going to run around, use your eagle eye. Uh, and then we will be heading down yonder here in just a second. We'll see you when we get there. And I apologize for not recording getting these, but yeah, shut up, weirdo. Freaking, <laughs> he's freaking NPCs, man. Oh my god, I'm going away, douche. Alright, so we just got the, uh... Got the clamshell orchid, I believe. We are down here. Actually, I'm kind of hoping while I'm down here, that mission, a little side thing, that prisoners or whatever it is, spawns. Alright, so, facing crawl dead willies, you turn right around. Right here. And we have another orchid. It's basically all orchids in this area. I had no idea there was so many freaking orchids. Okay, there's your ghost orchid right there. Alright. Cross that one off. Right here. Right by the and sign. So we got another orchid here, I think. Lady, I think this is the Lady of the Night one, I'm not sure. Yeah, it is. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Alright, we got that one. Alright, actually, much trial and error. We finally found the elusive freaking. I believe this is the Night Orchid. It's gotta be because I haven't examined it yet. Night scented orchid, or whatever the hell. There's way too many freaking orchids in this game. But all right, just to give you ideas on that tree right there. There's the path right there. All right, guys, so we're here at the. I believe this is the dragon's breath orchid. Another freaking orchid, right? That's what we need. So let me pick this little bad boy up. Just stuff that in the bottomless pit that is my legend of the East Satchel. Oh no, that's Sparrow's. My bad, that's Sparrow's duck. Is that what that said? Hold on. Sparrow's egg orchid. Okay. So I'm going to assume because dude had this marked right here that this should be the, uh, the Dragon's Breath one. There's a little thing majiggy right there. I haven't examined it before, so I'm assuming that's going to be the Dragon's Breath. Or dragon's mouth, orchid, excuse me. No, that's the moxin flower orchid. Okay, well, yeah, ran into a couple of freaking uh, okay, Murphy bastards there. I had to give them some bolt action treatment real quick. I don't know why the music's still going in the game because I already freaking blasting both right in there, right in the schnoz, so. Not sure what that's about, but as it is, we dealt with them yeah, as uh, only Arthur Morgan can, right? And uh, I see it on the guy's map. I figured these out from there, girl. Uh, so you got three locations here. I didn't notice the other two the first time. Uh, this is the sparrow, right? And this is the moccasin one. So this has got to be the dragon's breath one over here. That he didn't really. Just the way he, he zoomed in on the map was was all messed up. He didn't really show. If I'm gonna show you guys where something's at, I'm gonna make sure it's it's clear. You know what I mean? Painfully clear. That way, there's no room for question or any of that. I'll show you the surrounding. You done good, girl. I don't know why it makes me go slow by these guys. I know there's like a little mission thing there that spawns. I'm gonna have to check that out here at some point, but. So, yeah, let's go over here and hopefully the dragon's mouth orchid's over here because this is, uh, hopefully the last orchid I need. Uh, alright, let's, let's pick that. Alright, this has got to be the dragon's mouth orchid, guys. It's got to be. That's what it looks like. 
There it is. Dragon's Mouth Orchid. Good stuff. And we'll just show you on the map one more time. Right here. So that's where those three orchids are at. Or three, yeah, three orchids are at. So, uh, yeah, we can take these off the map now. I don't care now. Save those markers for something more important. But yeah, those are the locations. So, all right, all right guys. So we are here at uh, Manatee Manito Glade. I believe the uh, Winter Green Bear, or whatever it is, somewhere up here. I think before we get to the train tracks. Uh, thankfully, this is where the uh, the hermit's at, the bear shotgun. But we've already dealt with him earlier, so I'd be uh, real surprised to see him back. Whoa. Could you do me a favor and go away now, please? You old bastard, bastard, bastard! Um, I've already killed you, bro. Why in the hell? How many shots to take to kill this asshole? Holy crap. Uh, bro, I've already killed this guy, so why? No, I don't want to swap hats. Um. That's weird. There's his gun, but. I've already got this. That's a semi-auto shotgun. I've already got mine, so... That's interesting why he would spawn up here again when I already got the, the rare shotgun way earlier in the playthrough. So... Yeah, we're a little bit, uh... A little bit confused by that. You can't even pick up his gun. It doesn't look like now. Yeah, because I already got, uh... Oh, he's got Otis Miller's thing. Yeah, look. See, the, the drawer's still open. Oh, wait, no. Okay. I could have swore I took that earlier. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I already got the rare. Yeah, because he'd have the rare shotgun on him if, he, if I didn't get it. So, uh, I definitely got it. That's, I don't know. That's weird, man. That's really weird that uh, he would be up here again when I... Clearly shot him off. Well, maybe I have to go back and, and do my editing on one of my earlier playthroughs. Because as I'm recording this, I think I'm on playthrough 3 right now. I'm editing that right now. And I'm on like 11 right now. So, yeah, I'm about 99.9% .9 sure I've already killed this guy. Because uh, I remember putting the rear shot. Because I don't ever, I don't ever use a double barrel. I don't think it's really that good. But, um... I remember putting it in my, we my weapons locker because I never use it, you know what I mean? So, that's uh, really, really strange, man. Alright, so I think I have it pinpointed now. I kind of go up the hill, go to the back of his house, go kind of straight up the hill here. And reach kind of a crest. And then, uh, bust a left, and it should be right here. And there it is, Winter Greenberry. Okay. Not as big as the other berry plants, that's for sure. Very small compared to the raspberry, the blackberry, and the evergreen huckleberry there. Oh, we got another one here too. Nice. Uh, but as it is, uh, yeah, when we got a corpse in front of us here, so I'm sensing more Murphy action. So we might as well record this, and uh, let's get the bolt action act out. So I can guarantee this guy hanging here is not just uh, coincidental. Guarantee there is, uh, yep, look at that. And Matt, how did I know? Yep, good night, and good night, and good night. Right in the freaking chinny chin chin. Let's go. Hold on, let's uh, shoot that down, but. Not much we can do for this poor guy over here. He, he's pretty much a, a done deal skis there. You're fine, horse. All I'm doing is shooting my damn gun like you haven't heard it a million flipping times. Yep. So, yeah, we sense that. These Murphys don't really usually have much on them, so no point in looting them. I have some freaking open bottles and 
burdock root or whatever the hell, alright? Who gives a rip? So, alright, let's have some potent snake oil, but yeah, all right, I'm not gonna subject you guys to the ride down there. We'll see when we get down uh, back to the swamps. Yeah, we are Dr. McIntosh. Hey there. Did you read the book? Well, I opened it, but I didn't understand much. That's more than most. Much more than most. It was kind of interesting. Did you like the bit about the baboons causing the downfall of ancient Rome? Uh, yeah. Yeah, quite brilliant, I think. Yes, it's one of my more outlandish theories, but it's quite, quite true. I'm thinking of another volume. Well, there's another volume of a unifying theory. Uh, I thought I'd talked to this quack before. Yes, I, I know it needs a new title, but we've got a great bit. Yeah, I definitely about did. How this new craze for dental hygiene Whoa. will make our pets homosexual. Huh. Well, good luck with that. Okay. Thank you. That's a little bit strange. Thank you. Like, come on. It was agony. That's about it. It's you! My friend! Oh, it's here we go. Mysterious savior. Good my girl. Hey! Come over here for a minute, friend! Well, howdy. I was just telling my friend here about how I nearly died out there one night. Ooh, sounds like quite a tale. Here's an idea. Gunsmith's a friend. Pick out what you want and I'll pick up the tab. Huh? It's Jenkins. Ooh, yes indeed. Anything for you, buddy. Anything. You are nothing if not generous. That's kind of you. Thanks. You're very welcome, friend. All the best. Oh, yeah, too bad I got the guns I need, but thank you. I probably would have gotten it open, but I said it so right. Really got me. Just <laughs> I don't know who steps in their own bear trap, but okay. Okie dokie. Alright. So, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's fast travel right, back here. Spider Orchid, I believe it is. Yeah. So, let's ride over here and see what we got. Ah, right okay. there on the tree. Come here. Tricky, you gotta be like standing in just the right spot for these orchids. Alright. Good stuff. So, by my count, uh, we got one more. And it's freaking Angelo Bronte time, guys. That's what I'm thinking. I figured might as well. Uh, I was gonna take the train over to Wall of the Station. Uh, I didn't feel like fast traveling because the best I could have done was Strawberry Valentine. That's still quite a ride. So I just take the train over to Wall of the Station. And it's right there. Uh, I don't think I had to fulfill this all the way right now. I can just get this going right now. I think this is that uh, guy that wants me to find his watch, an old gun or some crap, whatever. So let's talk to this goofball real quick. You okay? <laughs> Do I look okay? <laughs> no. You look awful. Ugh. Awful. Look at me. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be gentle. Jeremiah Compson. Compson stead. Good for you. If that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living, a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here, living in the shit and the mud. I'm sorry. <laughs> my old house. The house my grandfather built all dilapidated and destroyed, repossessed by the bank. I'm no, sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos, watch, old pistol, my ledger. Where's this house again? Compson's Stead. North of 
Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Banks says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Aris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. Yes, it is there, partner. Surely is. All right, so now we got that over with. We arrived at the number 37 here. This is be the Lady Slipper Orchid, and of course we have to have a freaking bear come after us. But you know what? God darn it, we need one for Master Hunter number five. So come here, you big bastard, wherever the hell you're at. Come here. Come here, you son of a bitch. Come here. Damn horse doesn't shit on itself and fall on his freaking face here. Come here, Mr. Bear, where are you? Where the F is it at? Come here, Bear. Yeah, I need you. Oh, he's inside his cave. Take a pill, horse. Yeah, let's give you some stamina. All right, seems like you're gonna flip out. Put you right here. Where are you, son, bitch? Where is he? Good night. Good night, Mr. Bear. Let's uh, skin Mr. Grizzly here, and this should be Master Hunter number three right here, or in uh, five, excuse me. Yes, Master Hunter number five. Beautiful. All right, keeping that obviously. Is there anything else in here? Let's see what we got. Kill five cougars with your bow, then skin them. All oh, that. That'll be just wonderful, won't it? Only five cougars? Oh wow. Inspect. Oh, we got dinosaur bone. Uh oh, what we got here? Nice. All right, cool. So there's one dinosaur bone. I'm gonna have to showcase those in a in an upcoming playthrough. It won't be in this one, but. One of the 50 million freaking playthroughs I'm going to have to do to get through this damn game. We're going to 100% complete this on bitch, guys. I don't care if it takes 50 playthroughs. We're freaking getting it done. So That's the way that's going to be. Oh, I think, is this the Lady Slipper Orchid right here? What is this? Yes, it is. So no matter what, I was going to have to deal with Mr. Bear there. No matter what, but it's okay. We killed two freaking birds of one stone. And this is number 37. This is it for the, out of the 43 different oh, herbs, uh, the other six are in New Austin, so you guys know what that means. It's time to venture down into the land of unknown. I know there's a prey property down there, Black Current, I think Desert Sage, and there's like three more I'm not, I'm not familiar with, but I mean, I probably wouldn't if I delved into them real quick I'd probably know but it's a little old house call I don't know who's dumber you Ethan Edgar or Ezra keep telling you ma we'll get you a new place anything you want ain't like we're short on money I don't want a new place I got everything I need right here how many times Elijah shut your mouth or I shut it for you Oh, well, oh, it put my damn gun away. There's 
all four of them. Oh, damn. that lady now if I didn't kill her if I would just ran away or whatever there'd have been another cutscene I could have come back to later actually uh, you guys may or may not know with her uh, laying dead in her bed there and all that good stuff so yeah it's just interesting that all this can play out here but it's only fitting that she met her end by her own uh, her own semi auto shotgun right only fitting so there's nothing more else in there to loot or any of that stuff so pretty much not, good right? to go uh, there's no other challenge that is going to require you going to New Austin or anywhere out of bounds here so uh, we are pretty much good to go I'm deciding what could put one I got all those have our mar locations marked. We are good to flip and go. Let's let's get into this. There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just he's some slick little greasy-haired European. Clearly got power and money. Now listen. If we go in there. Start shooting up the place. Boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. Ain't no one gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. We'll try. Place. <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. A little light Excuse cough there me, from sir? Mr. Morgan. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh. Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Got a plan there, Dutch? That's what you got? It's gonna walk, worry, walk right through we me there? Peace. Okay. We just need to straighten a couple of things out with your boss. Put your freaking hands down, Arthur, damn it. Sono sti buffoni. Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. 
Ti adoro. <laughs> Date da bere sti uomini. <laughs> Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Uh, the pleasure is mine. John Marsh. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but, uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Uh, of course I know you would not want that, huh? Uh, no. No, no, no. So, how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, well, you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. <laughs> Salute. All right. Great to the cemetery we go. You think he's taking us for a fool? No of course, idea. it's getting dark. What choice do we have? None, I guess. This is idiotic. You know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gotten a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... He's okay. He'll be fine. I figured... The Braithwaite's were gonna hold Jack Branch. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Bronte knows by now there's no Braithwaite's left to pay him. Jack ain't much use to him anymore. Let's just get this done, and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think this is it. Keep it down. Let's hitch the horses up ahead. Alright guys, so we're back. Uh, the way I was learning from this other dude, uh, actually I'm going to shout him out, not that he needs a shout out from me, but uh, I believe his name is Arthur Morgan Gaming, so if you ever see this for any reason, Arthur Morgan Gaming, uh, I appreciate the video showcasing, but for some reason it did not work out well for me, so I'm just going to try this my way, because my main thing is just getting the damn herbs right for Herbless 9, right guys, that, that's the trip we're on right now. I don't really give a rip uh, if it's the night time, because I'm not going all the way to Garmer or whatever the hell like I did before. Just going to New Austin, getting the herbs, maybe pissing around a little bit, but because this mission is still going to be going on, I'm not going to be able to change the time of day and all that stuff like he did in his video, so I'm not going to be able to do legendary animals or any of that crap, which sucks, because there's a legendary bison down there I'd really like to get. Um, Maybe another time, right? But the main thing is getting these freaking herbs. And as long as it's still got that uh, escape the law thing going on, it's not going to allow you to... Uh, it's not going to allow you to you know, pick the herbs, do anything, which is insane. I, I've, I've never seen the herbs like be not available. Ever, so... So, alright, we'll just uh, 
continue on with the mission as oh, usual. Sorry. Uh, Go, weirdo. I had a bit to drink. Take a Your walk. Friend. John's gotta go frickin' talk to you for some stupid reason. They can hear us, you know. They're still with us. You should get out of here, mister. It ain't safe. No, it's definitely not safe. So. Alright, now we're just waiting for the waypoint to go over to the thing over here. Which, where the hell is it? It's over here in the corner, I think. I've been like a playthrough and a half now. We're still at the beginning of chapter 4. I know, it's... It's dragging on. There's a lot to do in this game, man. I was looking through the 100% completion list and I forgot some things. Uh, gotta do the dinosaur bones still. We already do the rock carvings. We gotta do the dinosaur bones for 100% completion. I, I don't think we have to do the know, orchids. Thank God, because there's like 100 million of those. That bastard better keep his word. Okay, John. I don't think you know what you're doing or where you're going, John, to be perfectly honest with you, but... just enjoying his brandy and cigars. I hear something. Uh, so over here. here's where we're supposed to be going. Get cover, and we'll bust the door in. You boys found my pappy's watching! Peter, right in the chin. Gotta get him right in the schnoz. Let's go. <laughs> right in the mother effing schnoz. Let's freaking go. Now we need some uh, pumps. Nick, go. You loaded. Careful. They're leaving us out in the open. Send them down here. F is this a hole. Alright, let's bust out the semis. Give these guys a special treatment. You can hardly see what I'm shooting at. If it moves, blast it. Hello, these a holes. I can think of better ways to speak. Really, bro? Yeah, you get three domes. Get freaking domed. Get freaking domed, bud. I think that guy tackles you from behind no matter what you do. I haven't been able to avoid that yet. Alright. Now let's find their stash. Let's have some meat. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look yeah. where they first shot at us from. No shit, John. Robin grave robbers. We've hit the big time. So like I said, yeah, I'll show you guys how I do it. The main thing is just alerting him in here, but he's saying we that mi that bugs the mission out twice, losing the open. cops. Uh, I don't know. It, it didn't. It wasn't working for me at all. For whatever reason. Yeah, because he goes out. Uh, I want to say, like, right here. This is area. And I've always, like I said, I've always just gone down and around, make sure the cops are alerted, whatever, shoot at him. Gone down and around, and just come out the front here, grab the horse, lose the cops, go drop John off, and go. You know what I mean? So, I'm going to try it that way. Um,. So it might not be able to change the time of day, but it's about the herbs for me at this point. And then maybe some other collectibles. Grab Otis Miller's revolver. I'm going to have to come back and finish the mission to lock it in, right? In order for the game to save and all that good shit, so. Oh, my bad. Got it. Good. Now let's get out of here. Damn, the loss. Yeah, we know the loss coming, John. Come on, let's see if that gate's open. Locked. Let's just track back to where we came in. Damn. Oh shit, John. 
There we go. That's what we wanted. You want to, you want to, you want to get him uh, on you when you're in here. That's absolutely crucial. Holy fuck! There's a bunch of them. Oh shoot! Better get over here. That's why I stay over here to the side. There's gonna be a bunch of them. Come here. In the schnoz. Get freaking schnoz, baby. Let's go. Get freaking schnoz. You're all getting schnozzed. <laughs> That's freaking great. Alright, come on, John. I don't know where the hell you're at. We gotta go, bud. Come on, horse. Oh, oh. Come on, Peter. Go, John, go. John has died. Oh my! Well, that's not my fault. John's a freaking idiot, man. Are you serious? All right. So we should still be all right. Cause like I said, this is still a normal playthrough here. Uh, if you try to replay the mission later, this won't work. But it will work now because it's uh, you know, it's still the, the actual normal playthrough, right? So that's how that works. Right in the chinny chin chin. I have a seat. Get a couple on the shoulder. Yeah, you can get two there, police dog. What the hell? Oh, it's a freaking dog. Yeah, you can get schnoz too there, puppy. Let me get a potent miracle tonic here. Let's take that real quick. Come on, you piece of shit. Let's go, John, you freaking idiot. Schnoz them. Let's go, John, you freaking goof. I don't remember him this being him being this lackadaisical. Let's go, John. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Bye bye. John, what in the F is John freaking doing, dude? What in the F? You're gonna get this freaking mission failed, John, you freaking retard. Let's go. Yeah, John's a fucking idiot. I'm sorry. You are a fucking idiot, John. Let's go, you moron. Shut the F up, John, and I'm gonna freaking feed you to an alligator, I swear to God. Well, if they change that, usually it's not that crazy coming out of there. It wasn't years ago, kill a couple cops, jump on the horses, and go. They, they, it seems like they passed it a little bit. They, they, they made some kind of freaking change. Look at, look at him, just run into me. You don't want to go to the side or, you know, hit the, hit the brakes at all, huh, John? You fucking retard. All right, so let's uh, let's return John here. The red, yeah, the red ring's still around uh, Saint Denis. Okay, that's what we want. Shut the hell up, John. 
Like I said, but you see where we're at once we got Jack. You done good, girl. Ah, oh, freaking NPCs, man. They just annoy me to no end, guys. They really do. Sorry, but I will never let it go. I will never get over it. These freaking NPCs are the most retarded thing I've ever seen in my life. There. I get they can't move and be as intelligent as us, right? Because, you know, we're people, but... Actually, let's go this way. But they should be a little more intuitive than what they are. I'm hoping once I get him, John back to Bronte's manor here, get this freaking music to go away. Everything will become available. And dude's video, uh, he didn't have the waypoint. He dropped John off, and I had that too. But it still, it kept saying escape the law, and you guys, uh, I showcased it. Uh, there was no freaking herbs or nothing. Now see the, the music stopped now. So hopefully. John, what in God's green earth are you freaking doing? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Look at, oh, look at that. He just teleported over there. Like, this, this mission is so freaking bugged. Holy shit, dude. Alright. Goodbye, John. Take a pill. Freaking idiot. So... All right, let's try to get out of Saint Denis here uh, without freaking killing myself or somebody else. Why are you doing this? And uh, I, mean, I have no doubt so about getting to New Austin. That should be fine, but it's just the damn herbs. Are they going to be there? You know, that's the thing. We don't got the weird music no more. It's not. It's not saying escape the law. All that good stuff. We'll get out of here a little bit and see if it lets us set up camp. Maybe it does. Maybe I had it right before. I just didn't realize you could set up camp and change the time of day. You know. I mean, if you don't know, you don't know, right? But we'll like I said, we'll see. It'd be nice not have to be in the freaking dark and the fog. That would be great. This is really annoying. Why it even goes from like just regular weather to all of a sudden foggy everywhere is way beyond me. That, that's really kind of stupid. Nighttime's good enough. We, we don't need the effing fog, man. We, we really, really don't. So. Alright, let's get out here. I don't know, let's just go over here real quick and see if we can't set up camp. We might not be able to because I think that's Caligula Hall. Caligula Hall or whatever, but. Actually, yeah, this is Kelly the Hall. I'm not going to do it there. Let's uh, see if we got any herbs available. Any animals? Wish there were animals last time. Yeah, I don't see any herbs lit up at all. And there would be stuff around here, you know, whatever. Milkweed, uh, all that good stuff. Maybe we gotta wait till we get to New Austin. I don't know why we would have to, but yeah. easy now. All right, so I guess yeah, this is freaking stupid. Yeah, let's just hop on the train tracks and, and go. Yeah. If it's not gonna let me pick herbs, then. Like I said, you know, this is all for naught because that was the whole point of all this. And yeah, I don't see unless something magical changes when I get inside New Austin. Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't see any freaking herbs at all, guys.
Yeah, okay. there's no option to set up camp or none of that shit. There's no herbs, so I don't think it's really going to do much of anything, honestly. I'll, uh, I'll pick back up recording when I get to New Austin, and we'll see if that somehow changes something, but I don't think it's going to, guys, to be honest. I think we might be screwed. All right, we'll see when we get over there. All right, so yeah, we are here in the Great Plains now. We'll head over here, but um, I'm about 99.9% .9 sure that uh, there's not going to be any prairie property here available for me to pick because I don't see any herbs anywhere. And I don't remember this being a thing. So... In order to do everything, yeah, you might have to get that uh, mission to bug out, like uh, the dude in the video with Sam. And, uh, be able to change the time of day and all that, because if you can't set up camp, change the time of day. You know what I mean? Like. for a minute. Yeah, look at that. Huh, it's lit up, but it won't let me use it. I don't know. But yeah, there's no, uh, no herbs here. Apparently, uh, Angelo Bronte mission completely just eradicates all herbs from the map. <laughs> animals, plenty of animals running around, but you know, this is a bunch of horse shit. I'm sorry. We shouldn't even have to flip and do this to yep. get to freaking uh Arthur should be able to just go to New Austin, you know, ride through here, escape the Pinkertons if need be. There really shouldn't be any Pinkertons out here, just in Blackwater. That makes sense. All out here should be just fine. There's definitely no excuse. Uh, to have invisible snipers and all this other stupid shit in New Austin. That's completely irrelevant. It's got nothing to do with Blackwater. So, yeah. I don't know, man. You done like I said before, and I'll say a million times to hell my way, dear. Uh, I real love-hate relationship with, Bra with uh, Rockstar Games. And sometimes it borders more on hate, honestly. But it's, uh, you know, they're kind of kind of got the market cornered, you know, their games are, there's really not much competition, really. Um, yeah, there's a lot more open world games now, but just not with the depth, in the, with the depth, excuse me, and the intricacy and the storytelling that Rockstar does, you know, they, uh, they're great at that, and I'll never say they're not, because that would be lying, but. Just the stupid little things that they do. Yeah. That's the way they try to freaking run their games like, I don't know, like, like they're freaking Nazis or something. It's just stupid. But... So, yeah, we're in New Austin, yeah, no invisible sniper. That, that definitely uh, still works. At least the freaking Dow Lobos were here so I can yeah. shoot him up and... that damn hat, that sombrero hat that they wear. <laughs> uh, of course, because the mission's here, they're not going to be around. I mean, there was NPCs in St. Denis, and there's, I know there's NPCs in Blackwater, but I don't think there's any here. No. None here. So I guess, uh, but the only thing we can do is uh, get Otis Smith's revolver. Um, yeah. I said I don't think we can hunt. 
Any legendary animals? Regular animals? Yeah. I was playing those around. Yeah, you can see that, but... Uh, legendary animals? I don't think so. I know the legendary bison, I'm pretty sure, is like around this area-ish. So we can, uh... We can go take a look, but I'm 99.9% .9 sure it's not going to spawn. Because it, it, in and of itself, it's kind of like its own little mission once it starts. You start expecting the clues, you know what I mean? And then yeah. takes you on a little detective trail to try to find it, you know what I mean? And, and that's not going to go on when the game's already in the middle, basically in the middle of a mission here. And, uh, what's his name, Narth, and Morgan Game, and his, his method there, or whatever, uh, at least for him, bugs the game out to where it kind of doesn't think it's in a mission anymore, because if it did, you wouldn't be able to camp. You can't camp during a mission. That, that's an absolute fact, so. Yeah, look over here. It's still cool to be in New Austin, but it's like freaking dark out, and you can't see nothing, and it's foggy, and not really much to do. Okay. Oh, there's the falls. Yep. Go over there. That's that little route right there. But I found a lot easier route. You yep. can just do what we do it online. Just do the little infinite slide thing, going right underneath the death water. No problemo. There, girl. I was so happy to know that that works. Definitely awesome. All right, let's do some more looking around here. I said I'm pretty sure the legendary. Animals are not going to spawn, so. Yeah, let's ride over here to Armadillo. Good old Armadillo, though, as we used to call it. Like I said, still cool being here in New Austin, but you know, not being able to pick my herbs is really a bummer. I used to be able to just, because uh, I've seen the old video from GTA series videos, you used to be able to just finish the Angelo Bronte mission as normal and then you could just come here it was all as long as you got the law on you and then just escape just like I did but you could finish it out and still come here it'd be you know time of day would change you could pick the herbs and do whatever hunt legendary animals but of course they patched that uh, unless there's a way to like revert patches somehow but I won't be able to play online though if I do that which I don't really care about online so maybe I'll just do that back to the old 1.00 patch so I know there's ways to do that uh, so I can just do that and... but I'm going to do everything all over again right so either way I gotta finish this mission so the game will save and you know it's just am I that into it? not really <laughs> if I'm being honest and we got the uh Random fire here, just like last time. They're they're burning the burn something. I don't know what the hell they're burning. There's the graves over here of the sick people. Definitely some not so cool business going on here in Armadillo. Where is this dude at? It's out here like. He's dead, he was camping or whatever the hell. Hold on, is that a cougar? What is that? No, no, it's a fox. Get out of here, fox. Yep. Yeah, because the other plant I need is like right here. I think it's uh, wild fever few or whatever. It's definitely, it's not even spawned on the ground like you can see, it's not even there at all. But this dude, because he's static, he should be out here. This, uh, it's like an Asian dude, you can get his hat and a letter.
Ah, there it is. Yeah, as I remember, it's right next to the hill that we used to glitch up, get outside to go to Mexico and online years ago. Fun times. Fun freaking times. There's Otis Miller's cave right here. There we go. Let's get it. Look at that gun, baby. First, we gotta get some nice nudie picks. And there's like five of those. Otis Miller liked his nudie picks. Good man. <laughs> Good man. Got a bison horn in there. What's, 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 what the hell else you got? Something, but let's get that old revolver. Otis Miller's revolver. Let's go. Obviously, we'll get the semi out of the back. No big deal there. Let's clean that bad boy. It is clean. So let's take a look at it. Basically just a, you know, sexy looking Schofield, right? That's all it is, but pretty cool. Doesn't really need to be cleaned, so. Nothing major, right? There's no, you know, like cut scenes down here with Arthur or anything like that. That was all cut, but they did leave in some of the dialogue. Oh, there's that house I was talking about. It just explodes. Where is this at here? Oh, okay. I thought it was down here farther. No, it's freaking right here. That's interesting. This is supposed to be like a moonshine operation gone wrong or something. No NPCs around, though, no, is there? I don't... Yeah, actually, see, there's moonshine bottles. Oh, what we got over here? You're fine, Horace. Take a pill. What we got? No, this is my high velocity cursors. Nothing major. Yeah, this is an exploding house. I knew it was down here. Some of the little bastards will ram your ass. They certainly will. I think you'd better get going. I don't know why these guys are. I'm guessing you don't know what you look like. You got that right. It's all good. Calm down. This what you want? In the neck. Let's see. These guys are always hostile for whatever the frick reason. I don't know why. Alright, yeah, so we're back here at uh, Bronte's Manor. You coming in with me? Well, uh, I guess let's finish this off. Like I said, sad we couldn't do the Herbless Challenge, but maybe some other time, what are right? You doing? Let's go get Jack. Shut up, John. I don't want to hear your shit. It's interesting why he just fell off the horse there, but okay. Come on, let's get this over with. Yeah, 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 John. Let's go. Well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you <laughs> took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Uh, thank you Mr. Bronte you for right? everything. I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Mr. Bronte is invited to a garden party at the mayor's house. Good stuff. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. There. All right, 
Let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I had the best time. You had a nice night then? Most enjoyable. Well, the man's an intolerable blowhard, but he stocks a fine bar. How did you fellers get on? Any problems? A whole heap of them. We about doubled the population of that graveyard. You know, I thought I heard gunshots, but the gramophone was playing. <sighs> Unbelievable. Each to their strengths, Arthur. I went in there with a gun and left with a party invitation. So, what'd you say this was? A garden party? Damn fox. A big gala at the mayor's house. I'm told every rich fool in Lemoyne will be there. Bronte? Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least you got a good Ramsall mask and Otis Miller's revolver out of the deal, I guess. Yeah? Is that what you think there, uh, Bill? We got you, your son. Everything. We got him. Mama. He's fine. I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. Uh, <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? Well, we met Mr. Bronte. Hmm. He is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys, we got some work to do. Interesting work, but first let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back. <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. How about a song? Oh, gang celebrating. Play us away. <laughs> this is really about the happiest it ever gets, you know. It's pretty much uh, all downhill from here. That's why I read Love Chapter 4 the most. It's just, uh, it's a roller coaster ride, you know. It starts out with a gang at their highest and slowly descends into not so much. Oh. We'll show you guys that. You alright, Chunk? Yeah, just taking it all in. It's always good to have the kid back. No ordering suspiciously as usual. I, I'm just trying to give you all your moment. Wow, well, very kind. You okay, Sadie? Sure. You boys did good. 
Well, we got lucky this time. <laughs> Freaking Sadie Adler. You're not joining in? Not really in the mood. Okay. Or Molly. Well, all right there, partners. So, uh, coming towards the end of playthrough number 11 here. We've accomplished quite a bit. Maybe we'll get into one more mission to finish it off. See, we got uh, Uncle down here being as useful as ever. Absolutely wonderful. Miss yeah. Karen. I think I might have had too much fun last night. Probably. Good job, Karen. Good job. All right, so let's go out here. Got a freaking three or eight hour bounty now. That sucks. Let's hop on Ghost Rider here. Uh, go pay our last respects to uh, Miss Braithwaite there. Uh, speaking of paying respects, I actually got to go because there, there is a trophy for that, guys. Uh, Sean, who obviously tragically died there towards the end of Chapter 3. I think his grave is like somewhere up in here. Uh, between Camp was and the horse fence. Somewhere in here, I think they buried him. So we got to go do that. Hey, respects to Sean. Uh, we already got Jenny and Davey at the beginning. Obviously, there's going to be more later on. Uh, if you played the game before, you already know. If you haven't, I mean, I'd like to say I wouldn't spoil it, but I've already spoiled a lot of things. Yeah. And some of the things that I've said, even just saying, you know, playing as John is kind of a spoiler, obviously. So, uh, yeah, if you're, I mean, there's probably ain't too many people that haven't played Red Dead by now, I wouldn't think. So, uh, you know, if I spoil something for you, I guess I'm sorry. Maybe I should put a disclaimer in my uh, video description, you know, saying, hey, you know, spoilers ahead, right? So I don't want to upset nobody or anything like that, but... It's been five years. Pretty much, I think, anybody who's ever going to play Red Dead, this boy has already played it. Uh, you good, girl? I would think. Uh, or pretty come, you know. At least played some of it. At least a mission or two or a chapter or something. All some right, people might have played and not liked it, but... It's been out for a while now. Uh, great game. If you haven't played, boy, I tell you what, you need to, because... Man, a masterpiece this game is. It really, really is. Let's pull out the repeater and the shotgun because I'm pretty sure we have some undesirables lurking about. They will not be too happy about me being on the premises. I'm sure they're somewhere around here. Why? I tell you what, with, with the guns thing, guys, here's another gripe I have about this game. Why in the F is it making me take my guns off every single time I get off the damn horse? It doesn't do that online. They come right there with you. Why at story mode is this is this a thing? Not quite understanding that. But yeah, there's uh, Catherine Braithwaite, uh, naked as a jaybird and burnt to a crisp. Why she would go back in this house knowing she was going to die is beyond me, but... Whatever. Who am I to judge? There's Catherine's brooch. Yeah, she is. Her goose is cooked. Goodbye, Catherine. And in case anybody didn't know, there is a little treat right over here, just to the left of one Miss Braithwaite. And in here is Ye Oldie Gold Bar. So, there's 500 bones right there. Very nice, right? As far as I know, that's the only uh, treasure there to behold, so. Alright, girl. Alright. We did that, right? Complete that, and then probably call it a wrap here on, uh, on playthrough 11. Um, I know I'm definitely going to have some heavy editing to do because. Uh, the whole Angela Bronte thing did not go uh, very well at all. I tried to do the uh, some other dude's version and definitely didn't work. Oh, here's Mr. White and Mr. Black. We might as well do these guys. They're already here. 
Let's get him. You're leaving me, huh? So, yeah, we'll leave this then. What you fools up to? It's Mr. Black's fault. His fault, the darky white. Although I don't know why they call him that. Look at him. Don't you start now. I'll knock the color clean off you. Come on. And I'll tell you, you lily livered. Enough. Huh. You two fools look like you've just run off a chain gang. Yeah, what of it? What are you doing? Starving. They got bounty posters for us all over town. And we can't go into town to get supplies. Say, mister, maybe you can do us fools a favor. We ain't bad guys at all. He's okay. You and for a darkie. Shut it, you pasty face streak of piss. Yeah, I had up to here with you. No. Do your goddamn favor. What you want? Maybe you can go into town and take down them wanted posters of us. <sighs> okay. Maybe meet us back at the campfire in the woods and tell us how you did. Uh, maybe bring us a little bite to eat. Don't push your luck. Nice fella. Yeah, you love nice fellas. Don't you start up again. Just shut up. You shut up! Take care of these two right here. Come on, girl. $308, $308 bounty is not helping, but uh, what we'll do is we don't actually... Let's go cash in this gold bar right quick. Pay this stupid bounty so I ain't got uh, the bounty hunters up my yin-yang here. We don't want to deal with all that. Why on earth are you doing this? Interesting. Yeah, I'll get that in a second. Maybe I'll do the other guy too, just to get him out of the way, and then that's you know that'll be pretty much done with roads at that point. Uh, until the epilogue, there'll be a little little treat. Uh, for us waiting here, but that's getting way ahead of ourselves. Step up. Don't be shy, pal. Yep, got a gold bar for you there, bud. We'll take that. Too bad we gotta give 380 of it back. Catherine's brooch. I really don't need to reason to hang on to that. I don't know if I should hang on to these rock statues or not. I guess I really don't need to. Uh, so let's sell them that. This we need for crafting. These three items right here we need for crafting. So we're not going to... We don't need the ancient Viking comb. Uh, not really. There's nothing I could do, use that for. So might as well sell them that. The meteor, I, I know we could find two of them. I kind of figure out what the hell the other one's at. But the weird thing is, is it says of three. I don't think anybody has found the third one yet. Uh, I've looked up videos on that. That's for crafting as well. And I haven't seen anybody... Uh, find uh, the third meteor yet, so that's an interesting little mystery there. Well, let's go pay this damn bounty. Get this crap out of the way. Hush. What's your problem? Out just a little while ago, we absolutely shot the piss out of this town, and now all is forgiven. <laughs> Look out. Let's go talk to uh, Aiden or Alden, or the hell his name is here. I'll be right there. Well, hello again. I got another one. You interested? I'm sure you do, there, Alden. All right, let's get rid of that. That kind of hurts the pocketbook a little bit, but we're still doing good. This isn't just a social call. No, this is a pay my bond and get the hot air call. Yeah, I sure will, there, bud. All right, yeah, let's get these damn posters here. I think is there one right here. Yeah, there is. Hold on. I wish I could afford me a fine critter like that. I bet you do. No, I do beg your pardon. What we got? Oh, there they are right here. Inspect bounty poster. Yeah, let's put that away. We'll take that.
It's nice where I can actually freaking use my weapons in again here if I want to. It's definitely, uh, one major gripe I had about Chapter 3 is just not being able to use weapons here. It really sucks. Now we got to deal with this a-hole here that won't get out of the freaking way, so this will be fun. Hey, I need to get to that poster behind you. Will you move a little? <laughs> I will not. Deputy put up plenty. Go get one of those. Oh, I'm sure. Hey, move. I need that poster. Oh, I'll move, all right. Come on, gotta be confident. Good night. A lot of here, bro. I don't want to loot him. I just want the damn poster. Three or five gang posters, all right. Yeah, if I loot him, that'll definitely give me a wanted level real quick. I don't need all that right now. Oh, there's one right here. Got that gentleman over there, but one thing at a time. Uh, there's four, and then I'm not sure where the fifth one's at. I don't remember. I think it's right over here. Somewhere. Maybe not. I'm trying to remember where the hell that. Thanks a lot, horse. Appreciate that. I like how the horse didn't get hurt at all. <laughs> the fifth one is at. So I guess we're going to yep. have to ride around for just a second here. Yep. I don't see no posters around here. I don't want to run over the damn dog. Donkey! Uh -huh. I would assume they're right here on the main drag. Seems how the other ones are. Shouldn't there be one right here by the sheriff's office? There it is. Yep. Morning, Parker. There we go. <laughs> it's funny. You don't remember who I am, do you? All right, cool. Hey there, girl. Yeah, let's go uh, talk to them. I'm we'll probably do this guy. Since we're already here, might as well go do this guy in the wagon over here. And why are you not jumping the freaking fence there, horse? Is way beyond me. And yeah, I think we'll call it uh, the end of playthrough four or fifty-four, playthrough eleven at that point. I was thinking chapter four. Easy. Definitely not the end of chapter four either. Not even close. We are just getting started. On what I think, like I said before, I think it's the best chapter. Because it really is the most dramatic and, and it's really... Hey, Hello. How was in town? Really where the tides turn. There's quite a price on you, For boys. Arthur and the, and the gang. It is so unfair. I, I didn't do nothing. Well, they said you was wanted for murder. It was a murder. It was self-defense. And you killed a farmer? Well, firstly, I would have, but he died before I could. And secondly, well, he had it coming. He... I don't like to say. Well... Ain't no business of mine. Here's the posters. Thanks, partner. That's that, man. Good That's stuff. Free free. That doesn't really make you free. <laughs> they can always put out more posters. Not really. Alright, man. Let's go do keep the Good Samaritan thing going, keep the high iron going here. Go talk to this gentleman over here about his wagon. 
see if we can't help him out, man. You okay there, mister? You need me to move. Move? I am. I'm sitting in the wrong place. Excuse me? No, I didn't mean any offense, sir. Please. I don't get your meaning. I'm very sorry, sir. You have yourself a fine day, and I apologize for any offense I may have inadvertently caused. What are you drinking, mister? Nothing, sir. Nothing at all. Why are you acting so strange? I don't mean to. I'm sorry for any offense. How could you have offended me? I have no idea. But I had no idea how I offended the last fellas. And they stole my wagon on account of my impudence. Stole your wagon for back check? Mm, they didn't like my medical practice, I suppose. I was helping folk. And that wasn't popular? I was undercutting the competition. Or I was too colored. Or I was irritating in nature. Or I was some know-it-all big city slicker here to demean some good old boys of my fine words. The exact variety of my sins was the source of some conjecture, so they undercut me. That ain't very nice. That was my impression. Still, compared to the gutting, castration, defenestration, and crucifixion they offered me, I felt I got off lightly. Imaginative bunch. Yes. But no great love of my medical practice. Too free with my wisdom and services. Which way they go? Down the road, that away. Stay here. I'm sort of forced to. Please don't go to any trouble on my account. Mm hmm. I heard him say they was taking the two Macombs in. Okay, thanks. Okay, Macombs end. Alright. By you we go, looks like, right? By you we go. I'm sure I'm probably gonna need, uh, oh. probably gonna need these, so. Yeah, uh, good night. You guys don't want this, you guys don't want the smoke. We have some more visitors. Coach incoming. Focus your fire. I'm not sure if those guys are part of the attackers or not. Uh oh. Guys on the wagon were not attackers. <laughs> hey man, when I get in freaking go mode, I'm I'm shooting first and maybe asking a question or two later. Okay. 
Yeah, that's how we're doing it. The horse is out of whistling range. Where's my freaking horse? It's level four. It should, there is no auto whistling range, bro. Where is my damn horse at? Is it back in town? Are you freaking kidding me? Why would they put my horse way up there? Are you serious? Well, I can always, if I get done with this, I can always just fast drive back to camp and the horse should follow me there. You gotta be kidding me, man. seeing that wagon again. No you for that matter. Only people you won't be seeing are the folks who took it. Uh, I take it they aren't the only ignorant bullying clodhoppers in these parts. But I can live in glorious hope. Ah, it wasn't a trouble now, was it? No, it was a pleasure. Well, let me give you something for your pleasure. Ah, what we got here. Ah, how about this? Provide a man a tincture? He'll be well for a day. Teaching to make one, he might be well a while longer. I'll make sure to try and make this. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. It won't work for anything chronic. But you may not need it to. Well, you see me on my travels and you're in need of something? Make sure you come and say hello. Travel safe now. Good stuff. Good stuff. I still got my horse way the frick up here. Like, are you kidding me, dude? Yeah, that's really not okay. Once you reach level four, there should be no limit on the, the range. That's, that's kind of stupid. So, what we can do real quick is to remedy that. Right, no thanks, Gav. You are Gavin, but you have a mental disorder there, homie. <laughs> Hate to break it to you, but you are Gavin. All right, guys. Yeah, I think uh, <laughs> not the best note we're ending playthrough number 11 here, but uh, we'll find somebody's horse, and unfortunately, we're gonna have to steal it and go get our horse and all that good stuff, but. Do you guys really need to see all that? I don't think you really do, so. Our partners. Like, subscribe. Share out. Come hang out. At least every once in a while. With the old cowboy mods. And the one and only mods gaming channel. Y'all stay safe out there, partners. Later. Break, 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 break